In this video we're going to divide two numbers that have the same base and um, remember what to do with the exponents, okay? So if you have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n, what do you do with the exponents? Do you remember? Add them, subtract them, multiply them, divide them, what? So that would be a to the power of m, right? The top exponent minus the bottom exponent, m minus n, right? And what property is this? Do you remember? You're dividing, and that's called the quotient property, right? So if you have three, 2 to the power of 3 divided by 2 to the power of 2, of course, that would be simply 2 to the power of what? 3 minus 2, right? Which is 2 to the power of 1 or 2, right? Now, what's 2 cubed anyway? 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2. What's 2 times 2 times 2? 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So that's, of course, 8 over what's 2 squared. 2 squared is 2 times 2, 4. What's 8 divided by 4? 8 divided by 4 is just 2. So the property works, doesn't it? Right? You can see that with these numbers anyway. So if we have negative exponents, what are we going to do now? Right? 2 to the power of negative 5 or over 2 to the power of negative 6. Now, I want you to agree this much with me. It would be 2 to the power of the top exponent, we'll write a parenthesis for it, minus the bottom exponent, we'll write a parenthesis for it. And the parentheses are going to help us not make a mistake with the negative numbers, right? But you agree it's the top exponent minus the bottom exponent. Now, if we had 3 to the power of negative 4 over 3 squared, wouldn't that be 3 to the power of the top exponent, parenthesis, minus the bottom exponent, right a parenthesis there? Does that make sense? Then all you have to do is plug in the exponents and get the answer, right? So back to the first one, the top exponent was negative 5, right? So we're going to plug in negative 5. The bottom exponent was negative 6, so we're going to plug in negative 6. And see now we have a double negative, negative, negative. And that's exactly what we wanted to watch out for, right, with this one. So what does this become? And, and in fact, you know, sorry, let's do this one right away actually as well. 3 to the power of negative 4 over 3 to the power of 2. That gives us 3 to the power of negative 4 minus 2, okay? And then we just calculate the top, calculate the answer, and, and get it. So what I want you to do is just take the first step with this one. x cubed over x to the power of negative 2. Just take the first step. That's x to the power of what minus what? Right? Did you get it? So I just want you to take the first step. Don't calculate anything. Just take the first step on this one. It should be x to the power of the top exponent minus the bottom one. Did you use parentheses? Okay. So that should be 3 minus negative 2. Now that's the m if we can all get the first step right, that's you you've got it. But the problem is most people want they just don't have the patience to write this out. And so they want to skip it and they'll make a mistake on the negative numbers. And for e and a lot of students will go through a whole bunch of math classes thinking, oh my god, this is so hard and I just, I can't get this. Well, the reason, this is only hard if you decide you're going to be, you're going to skip this first step, right? Don't skip the first step. The first step is the most important step because if you get the first step right, everything falls into place. And that's true for a lot of problems in algebra. If you get the first step, write it out correctly, then everything is just it falls into place after that. Most students want to just write down the answer right away. Okay, well that's not a good idea. That's how that's how you have a a, a unhappy time with algebra is trying to get the answer in the first go. Anyway, so two to the power of negative five minus negative six. We have to calculate negative five minus negative six. Now we've just reviewed uh, negative numbers. So do you remember how to do this? 
if you have minus negative negative that makes plus plus so this is negative five plus a positive six this is actually five negatives and six positives which makes two to the power of five negatives and six positives two to the power is one positive right and two to the power of one is what can also be written two right now how about this one negative four minus two that becomes three to the power of what now a negative four minus two I'm in debt by four dollars I subtract two now I'm in debt by what in debt by six okay and can you simplify that any further one over three to the power of what one over three to the power of six right how about this one we've got x to the power of three minus negative two which gives us x to the power of what now negative negative makes what negative negative makes plus plus okay now three plus positive two is what three and two five and can we simplify that x to the power of five how could you simplify that or could you you can't it already has a positive exponent okay simplifying these answers means like if there's a power of one you gotta write just the number because two to the power of one is just two right or what's what would x to the power of one be x to the power of one would be x right or if you have a negative exponent it's one over that to the power of you know you know how to simplify negative exponents right but if just a po if it's just a positive exponent then you're done that's the answer right so anyway y to the power of negative one over y to the power of negative one gives what so press pause do that yourself and see if you can get the right answer and if you make a mistake that's a good thing because hey this is what it's all about you, this is a good place to make a mistake when you're going through the videos right okay I hope you press pause and tried it I'm going to do it now so I hope you use parentheses it should be parentheses minus parentheses right and then you plug in the exponents negative one minus negative one and that should give you a double negative here now if you got that first step I guarantee you almost certainly you'll get the right answer then right so this becomes what negative negative makes plus plus so we have y to the power of negative one plus positive one which is y to the power of zero okay and that's the correct answer now can we simplify that any further y to the power of zero is one because it's actually y to the power of zero is actually y over y and y over y is one isn't it okay